What is going on everyone, my name is Nate, and the survival genre of games has been one of the fastest growing in the industry, and has quickly risen to become one of my personal favorites, even surpassing FPS's in my opinion. So for that reason, we'll be covering my personal top 6 favorite survival games available now. Why top 6 instead of 5 you ask? Well, because I have OCD and odd numbers like 5 irritate me. Coming in first on our list is the Tom Hanks' castaway simulator that is Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep sends you into the shoes of the sole survivor of a recent plane crash, whose mission is to survive in a vastly procedurally generated archipelago of islands, battling off sharks, snakes, and starvation. This game boasts its own building system, where you can craft anything from a small shack to a massive home on top of a mobile boat. The map being procedurally generated is always completely random, and typically very large in size, ensuring no shortage of beautiful game to explore. Stranded Deep is currently available on Steam for just $15, and is still receiving developer support in the form of patches every few weeks. Next, no survival list can go entirely complete without DayZ. Now don't get me wrong, DayZ definitely has its own faults, but the title is certainly worth a couple dozen hours at least. In case you don't know what DayZ is, DayZ sends you into the post-zombie apocalyptic world that is Chinaris, where the real threat isn't the zombies, but it's your fellow survivors. The big droll of Daisy, at least for me, is how this game can get your adrenaline pumping when you're in a firefight or spot another player in the distance. Because in Daisy, once you find stuff, you don't get to save it anywhere. Once you die, if you die, you lose everything. And that high stakes attitude forces players to take on a really interesting social dynamic. The map is 220 square kilometers, or 140 square miles. For perspective, Daisy's Chinaris map is approximately 16 times the size of Skyrim's. Daisy is currently available on Steam for $35, and developer Bohemia Interactive claims the game will be fully completed sometime in mid-2017, with a launch on consoles possibly coming soon after. Pushing onward is Don't Starve. Now this game may seem innocent enough with its Tim Burton hand-drawn-like art style and camera angles, but Don't Starve is a surprisingly gripping and brutal survival simulation. You are forced to contend with your own hunger, health, and even your own sanity, as during the day you'll spend gathering firewood and crafting various sorts of contraptions, and at night, all sorts of boogeymen come out to play with you, and, and I don't mean play. Don't Starve may seem like not much at face value, but the game's randomly generated worlds quickly become addictive to play in, and the game also features an adventure mode centered around five levels in which the player contends with the game's primary antagonist. If you're looking for more than just survival, then that might suit you as well. Don't Starve is available for all current-gen platforms, with the obvious exception of the Nintendo Switch for $15. At number 4 comes a game that I've covered on this channel twice now, both in a positive and a negative like, Ark Survival Evolved. Ark sends players onto isolated islands inhabited only by dinosaurs and other players. Both dinosaurs and these other players can prove to be allies or enemies, as players can tame and raise dinosaurs to do their bidding, and form tribes with other players to make gathering resources and acquiring dinosaurs even more efficient. Different tribes can go to war with each other, and depending how big your tribe is, a war could last from anywhere between a short 20 minute attack on a base to a weeks-long lasting conflict. The game also features a player versus environment mode, in which PvP is disabled, so you don't have to worry about other players killing your dinosaurs and taking your stuff, if you're just looking to build with friends. Like Don't Starve, Ark is currently available on all platforms that are not Nintendo for $30. Coming in fifth on this list is The Forest, and this game has to be among my favorites of all time, particularly because The Forest starts off much like Stranded Deep. You survive a plane crash and find yourself on a deserted island, or so you think. You begin to build a shelter and start exploring, and very quickly do you realize that you're not as alone as you thought, as this seemingly deserted island is actually inhabited by a tribe of ritualistic cannibals that are not out to make friends. This game does an especially good job at making these creatures absolutely terrifying, promoting a unique horror dynamic into your survival experience. Your mission becomes less affiliated with simply avoiding starvation, and more on trying to keep these mutant things out of whatever makeshift shelter you construct, because once they catch you, it is game over. The AI is smart and the building system is well constructed. If you're interested in giving yourself nightmares, The Force is available on Steam for $15. Last but certainly not least is a game most players have already at least heard of if not played, and that is Rust. Rust has its roots very similar to DayZ, in of it that it started as a zombie survival mode where you can craft bases, but quickly learned to just do away with the zombies. So now Rust is more similar to Ark, minus the dinosaurs. Players can team up with other players and build bases together, as well as go to war. Most Rust maps are randomly generated as well, with their own biomes and weather conditions. Rust is one of the most popular games on Steam, and for $20 you are certainly getting your money's worth. Just make sure you learn to not trust the naked people with rocks, they are not your friends. Anyway guys, that is my list, I hope you all enjoyed, what would you change? Is there a specific game you think deserves to be on this list, or one of these things that really doesn't deserve to be here? Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Anyway again guys, thanks for watching, I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out everybody. Mm -hmm.